As I stated in my last Pilot's Lounge episode, I have accumulated a lot of airframes over the past year and it is time to call the herd again. And the free wing F-86 Sabre Jet did not make the cut. Even after um, cutting in additional air inlets into this jet, putting it on a 4S with a 3S plus power system to give it enough power, uh, it's still an average flying EDF jet. It's not a great flying EDF jet. As a matter of fact, I think unless I think after I finished the review on this and got it flying halfway decent, I, I said it was a pass unless you just, you know, because it was so ex inexpensive, if you wanted to do the same things that I did to it to, to get a, a practice EDF jet in the air, uh, that's the only way that I would recommend it. So it's not a great flying jet and it has a couple of bad tendencies, you know, the, the elevator on it is kind of weak. I think if that's, you know, just from the design of the jet, if you go too slow, it will drop a wing tip on you. If you pull too tight in a loop, it will roll over on you. So, um, we're going to perform the last flights of the F-86 Sabre jet today before it goes to the boneyard. But, I do have an airframe already picked out. So the F-86 Sabre Jet will live on with its components on another airframe. And I think that the airframe that I'm going to replace this with might very well be a keeper. Uh, the, the videos that I've seen of it uh, seems to handle really, really well. I won't mention what it is until I actually have it in my hands. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be outfitted with this 64 millimeter EDF jet uh, fan and motor. I'll probably go ahead and scavenge the, the servos off of it, the receiver off of it, and uh, it has a 30 amp ESC, so I will probably use a 40 amp ESC in, its, in the airframe that I'm going to be you know, putting the CDF unit in so that I can fly it with full 4S power. So anyway, um, let's go perform the last flights of this F-86 Sabre jet. I will see you out in the field. Okay, let's get another flight on it. Get out here by the road again. Oh, the winds died down. That's good. All right, ready to launch. Wingtip. Well, I tell you, since I increased the power on that, it is not too bad launching. Drop that nose. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's it's all over the place. Whoa! I almost ran out of elevator there. Remember what I was saying about that elevator? Just not a good flying jet. Yeah? Was it hitting some wind up there or something? It's, now it seems like it wants to climb. Yeah, there are much, much better options out there, guys, for EDF jets. I am not going to be sorry to see this one go, to tell you the truth. Look at that. Oscillate. There must be some turbulent air up there that I'm not feeling on the ground. 
<laughs> it sounds kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. It's got pretty good power with the 3S Plus power system, but this airframe is just not, not very good. Just isn't. What a pity. Okay. I think my timer just went off. Let's see if we can bring it back in. Let's see if we get a little better landing on it this time. The wind is picking up again. Oh, that was fitting. Yeah, <laughs> it's picking up a little bit. <laughs> oh my, that is very fitting for the last flights, isn't it? <laughs> any damage don't really care do I no I don't all right I got one more four pack <laughs> one one more four s lipo I'm gonna put in it and then it is definitely uh, going to the boneyard guys see you in a minute okay the wind is picking up again but we don't care do we last battery pack last flight of the F-86 before it goes to the boneyard. Okay, let's see if we get one last successful launch on this F-86 Sabre jet. Right? Launching. We did. Now, let's see if we can keep it in the air. Oh, man. This airframe does not like wind either. Keep it out of the sun. Just hates the wind. It's all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> Not a very stable airframe, gentlemen. Fast, but not stable. Should we risk it? Whoa, man, it wanted to turn right out of the bottom. I don't know if they just don't have enough reinforcement on those main wings or what the deal is. But more frequently than not, coming out of a loop or coming out of a split S maneuver like that, not full throttle, I really back off of the throttle when I'm coming down toward the ground and um, it wants to turn left or right, one of the two. I don't know if it's getting a lot of wing flexing on it, I can't tell. You know, it's so small in the air at that point, I'm not sure. But, um, look at that. You see it just roll over? It just rolled over. I mean, I know there's wind up there, but it, it does that when it's, it does that when it's fairly calm out here or calmer wind. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely you know for the price, it's a it's a good uh, practice EDF jet because uh, this one will <laughs> will challenge you. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can get it in the ground to one piece. I don't know if we can. Take a hop, skip, a jump, a tumble.
Well, that's the best landing I've had yet, and that was pretty rough. <laughs> you just can't, you cannot come in slow with this one. If you, if you come in slow with it, it'll drop a wing, uh, and then you'll tumble. But um, what a shame. I've always loved the look of the F-86 Sabre Jet. And, um, you know, those, those old airframes, they've got some design issues, you know. I think uh, with EDF jets, I'm, I'm going to stick with uh, more modern airframes from now on. Because, you know, the Viper, the F-16, they handle so darn well. You know, I mean, it just the airframe designs are so much better and so much more stable than the F-86 is. So, yeah, I ordered it. My very first CDF jet, because I love the look of the F-86 Sabre jet, but it was a, definitely a mistake. All right. So, that is the end of the free wing 64 millimeter EDF Sabre jet. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.